Welcome people of YouTube, Jack Gash here again today. Thank you for joining me and thank you for clicking on my video. How to reprogram yourself. So we get into ruts in life, we get into thought patterns, we get into habitual behaviour uh, that's sometimes hard to break. A lot of mental health stems through these habitual patterns within our brain chemistry um, that mentally entraps us into a certain way of functioning, um, which is quite difficult to break free from because if you identify with your mind, it's hard to break free from an identity that you have found. And the problem is with these identifications that we have with our mind is that um, breaking free from them sounds like, feels like um, we're destroying our part of ourselves and sometimes we refer back to mental health issues and mentally unstable, unstable ways of thinking um, through that identification. You know, we don't want to change because that's what we're used to now. Um, so reprogramming yourself, really interesting way of dealing with things um, when you treat yourself as almost like a project, which in sometimes I feel like with mental health, you do have to do this. And I've been through stuff myself and I've been through situations myself where you do have to reprogram yourself and rehabilitate yourself. The thing is, the relationship with self is the most important relationship that you have in life. And if you're not cherishing this one, then you won't appreciate or accept life as an enjoyable experience whatsoever. Um, so it is paramount that you focus on this one, this one epicentre of life, and that's how you experience everything around you. <clears throat> that being said, how do we start the processes of reprogramming our mind and reprogramming ourselves? The first thing is, is breaking patterns. So with certain conditions with our minds, we get into patterns. So you might... Um, I don't know, when you experience upset, you might do certain things, you might eat, you might smoke, you might drink, you might do something to escape that issue, escape that emotional state. Um, so doing stuff like when we get upset, try and find a different thing to rehabilitate ourselves, do exercise, do something like that. Uh, but not just that, to reprogram yourself step by step is, you know, I found for me what worked for me, and I'm not saying this is one size fits all, but setting a time that you get up out of bed and sticking to that time religiously. Um, you might have seen a few of my recent videos that were getting up early, so I usually get up around half, four, five o'clock. Um, quite recently, I've been quite lazy, and I've noticed that my um, stability in my mind's been a bit different. I've been feeling not low, but not as energised as I usually would be because I stick to a routine. And keeping yourself in a routine teaches yourself discipline. And when you teach yourself discipline, it shows that you can break free from patterns and you are actually in control of your life and control of your mind rather than it being the opposite way around. So setting a certain time to get out of bed really is beneficial to your mental health because you're teaching yourself to get up, get out of bed, make your bed, and have a step-by-step -step process. Another way of reprogramming your mind, another way of teaching yourself and rehabilitating yourself is watching the information that you're ingesting. And this really was a big, not a shock, but an eye-opener to me because I didn't realise how much time I was ingesting information, especially through social media, taking in information all the time, people's opinions on politics, people's you know, views on the world, bad things around the world, whatever it may be, um, you're constantly taking in this information and it's hard to constantly process it as well as form your own opinion and your own idea in life when you're constantly ingesting information. Also, what I've found, especially with where mental health is concerned, myself, I've experienced this, experience this too is when we ingest lots of information about the problems that we have now it's good to research it's good to look into issues that you may think you have but sometimes you've got to be careful because if you're constantly reading that information it's hard to then move forwards because you're constantly living within that entrapment so it's good to read information that's about more positive things or steps on the way out of it rather than just about your illnesses or the things that you have difficulty with in itself another way of reprogramming yourself start reading things new start opening yourself up to new information even things that you didn't really class as interesting um you know quite recently um funny little thing i i, I started watching um vikings which is an episode on amazon that i found really good and interesting so i picked up a book about um nordic gods just 
just a random thing and just picking up bits of information about different stuff I've taken books from my brother who's very into more business and more um, management and stuff so he's passed me some books that's not typically something I would read but gathering yourself different informations broadens your perspective you what you're trying to do is break patterns and reprogram yourself to something new or something different and I'm not saying you should try and change yourself or this will make you into a better person but if you want to almost broaden yourself out change yourself as a bit of an individual rather than just stuck in a rut or stuck in certain patterns you may want to consider some of these options um, another way of reprogramming yourself is changing the relationship you have with your thoughts um, this is one big key and massive milestone that I found with me that helped me reprogram myself into a better engineered way of life and a more life that I'm enjoying now you know life's a bit easier now because I've helped myself with what's going on in my mind what um, thing I come to the conclusion was is that when we have criticism in our mind about ourselves it's not coming from us because whatever you believe in for me you know your spirit your soul is a loving nature life is a loving nature it's not something that criticizes and judges what does that is society society and culture that's where the judgment comes in. We get hierarchies, we get social class, we get race. Everything comes into culture, society. That's where judgment and criticism is. That's where it's born. So this self-sabotage that we have, this self-criticism, this self-judgment that's an ongoing saga in our minds is not us. It's information that's gathered because you wouldn't be able to compare yourself to anything to judge because when you do judgment, you're comparing yourself to a better version of yourself, somebody you know, or, you know, it's just constant criticism. So what was a big learning curve for me was the criticism in my mind that I have about myself isn't me. And when you base this down and keep refreshing that in your mind, almost like an affirmation, you start to understand where some of your thoughts are coming from, that it's not always you. So... I can go through this myself. I can be an absolute perfectionist with myself. I'm constantly, I find, my mind constantly judges myself. I feel like I've got to be doing better. I've got to be, you know, making sure I'm doing this, that, the other, or should I really be doing that, or have I done that, so have I done this or that. It's a constant judgment that I have in my mind, and this is coming from me. And um, once I realised that it wasn't just me, it wasn't just my thoughts, it was coming from outside information and the judgment of society or the way people accept you, um, things started to change and I started to realise that the voices in my head that was loving, that was caring, that was supporting, was actually myself, my higher selves trying to support me. Um, and you gain this ability of encouraging yourself, almost like a parent does to a child when they're first riding a bike. You know, it's an encouragement thing. It's allowing yourself to be human. It's allowing yourself to learn how to pedal. It's allowing yourself to find your balance rather than constantly critiquing, constantly judging, constantly being harsh. You know, life shouldn't work like that. When you work in that operating system, you make life so rigid and tough when really it should be enjoyable and happy and loving. And that's how you should treat yourself. Uh, reprogramming yourself is not something, that's a diff uh, not something that's an easy task. It's actually quite difficult because you almost have to uh, go, go through a stage of um, a disconnection from your ego, from yourself, from your identity. You have to have that disconnection from it because we take life so personal everything that's happening in the world is so personal it's hard to detach away from that and think you know how do i make this better for me um without taking all that personal attack in you know the world's a dangerous place what do people think of me what do my friends think of me and self-sabotage it's all happening but to reprogram yourself take some easy steps like the ones I've said in this video, you know, set a time to get out of bed, get out of bed every day, start a good morning ritual, you know. A lot of people, me, myself included, get up and pick up my phone. No, 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 don't be doing that, people. We're human beings. We're human living beings. We're not meant to just pick up technology straight away. You think of how weird that is. You know, what other animal do you know wakes up and picks up a screen and looks at it? And that's the problem with humans and society these days they are 
humans first and animal second when you should be animal first, human second. You know, as an animal, you get up, start your day, man. Get going, get your blood circulation going, get your breathing going, do whatever you need to do. Me personally, reprogramming myself, a massive tip I'm going to give to anybody who's taken the time to watch me so far and listen to this video and listen to me ramble on, uh, which I do really appreciate. Um, start journaling. And that's the biggest tip I'm going to give on this video. And it's probably the final tip that to reprogram yourself per purposefully, properly and sustainably, start journaling. Get a little notepad, something like that, A5 little notepad. I've filled four of them throughout my stages of when I started personal development and personal growth. And um, it's phenomenal what your mind comes up with and how intelligent you can become just from listening to your own guidance. Um, we listen to all this guidance. We listen to all this guidance. We listen to all that guidance, but we never listen to this guidance. And that's where all the knowledge and power comes from. That's where all the uh, acceptance, the confidence, the you know unconditional love for life comes from is all stored within your own system. And if this isn't an enjoyable system, then you need to reprogram it. Journaling is amazing. What I do is I wake up in the morning before I even start doing anything, before I've, you know, sometimes I even do it before I've brushed my teeth straight away, you know. Get a pen and paper and write the first thoughts that come into your mind. You see, when you come out of a dream state, your brain's still in um, theta waves, I think they call them, so, you know, it's still on a, on a different brave wave state. I haven't moved into the beta or the alpha wave state. It's still in them really slow brainwave states almost your subconscious mind so when you awaken you're still connected to your subconscious mind when you write things down your own mind speaks to you and it's amazing what you come up with it really is i wrote for a prime example um a little passage that i wrote down this morning was about food and that my food intake wasn't the best at the moment i didn't really considered it i've just gone through life throwing whatever in my gob not thinking properly and uh, yeah up until this morning i came very conscious of what i've been doing for the past maybe a week or so and why i've been feeling so lethargic and heavy i thought yeah that makes sense but i did it myself i didn't read it from anywhere i read it from somewhere within myself and that's where knowledge and the power comes from is realizing how intelligent you are as a human you know people think they're daft people think they haven't got the capabilities when you have and you have to accept that you've got them capabilities it's just a matter of moving all the personal things out of the way and accepting this for what it is so as i always say on this channel Peace and love to anybody watching this. Make sure you're taking it easy. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really, you know, I'm learning myself and I just thought this is a really interesting video about reprogramming yourself and making yourself into a more happier, better place to live. And I'm not talking about living where you are. I'm talking about living here and living as a being, you know, and making that an enjoyable experience. So, yeah, man. See you in the next video, I guess.